I got in touch with a tram company in Thailand. And that was back in 1986, and I got a job offer there in 1987. So I was already working in, uh, in, uh, in Thailand for about uh, five years or so. And in the early 90s, so, uh, uh, Indochina was opening up. So Kiri Travel, the thought about it was Kiri Travel to open it up for four countries, one destination. So uh, all the Indochina countries, Laos, Cambodia, Vietnam, Thailand, and offer it as a one-stop uh, travel company. The first six years it was basically just having having a great time. Uh, no air conditioning, we had a fan so the paper was sort of fluttering all over and uh, uh, the communication was a fax service down the street. So I had to walk down the street and you know pay 20, 20 baht for an incoming fax and 100 baht for an outgoing fax. We, we never started out, I never started out on, on thinking this would be a, a, a very big business. Uh, as a matter of fact, especially in the first five, six, seven years, it wasn't really run as a, as a business, but really out of the passion for travel in the region. From the very, very first part, we, we felt like, well, if we do this, we are the only reason we can set up QD Travel, uh, instead of maybe a local, a Thai or a Lao or a Vietnamese, uh, especially at that time, um, is because we are foreigners. And we felt, well, that's nice, but we make a living kind of off the back of, of locals. So we always felt we have to give back. We, we felt that we are privileged to do business here. And the opportunity with our, our travel, uh, our, our office network, and the type of staff that we have, we felt there's a big opportunity to use that by giving 100% of donations into goods to projects that need attention. We are not a development agency, but uh, you know it is definitely uh, a big part of our business.